Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Retro Gaming Thursdays with Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Uh, thanks to all those that tune on in. Beauty and Black, Echoid, as well as Moonlight Kitsune, and everyone else that happens to be tuning on in. I hope that you guys enjoy the stream. And as per Alex Kicker's request, yes, I am dressed up as Sailor Mercury for tonight. So, um... Get used to that. <laughs> uh, last we left off, I do believe we have completed um, testing what? Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> at any rate, um, last we left off, we completed Neverland. Uh, we completed 100 Acre Wood. And we completed Atlantica. So now we are going to be stepping into the final world card that we have in our possession, which is Hollow Bastion. So, that being said, let's move on to the game side of things. And, uh, pretty sure, yeah, no, it should be okay. Hopefully. All right. So let's move on. And... I have uh, eaten 22 out of the 54 beans uh, so far, so, um, uh, anyway, I hear voices. I wonder who it is. I think something's wrong. But, Belle, I don't understand. I came here to rescue you. You know, is that the same facial expression that they uh had from the disney movie gotta say pretty spot on if i do say so myself i didn't ask you to come and it doesn't matter anyway i'm not going back with you so you're wasting your time have you lost your mind how can you stay here with that witch I have nothing more to say. Now leave before Maleficent finds you. Oh boy, Maleficent is up to her dirty tricks once more. Belle, why? I'm not sure what's going on, but is everything okay? Don't feel bad. There must be a reason she said those things. Keep your sympathy. No one can ever care for a beast like me. Sure wish there was something we could do for him. All right, key of beginnings. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, we got a massive map. Uh, so let's get started, huh? So we'll be bumping into uh, Wyverns and uh, I forget the name of these guys, but they're annoying because they have shields in front of them. And uh, yeah, that's 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 just annoying. Also, <laughs> also, they cast fire, I believe, as well. So want to watch out for that. I forgot what I was leveling up last time, too. So I guess I could use a bit of a refresher here. Oh, hey, look, we got some. Uh, we got some wizards, warlocks, whatever you want to call them. Huh? I don't think so. But um, I don't think you want to use any of your magic spells on these guys. Fire heals them. Uh, Blizzard heals them. Thunder heals them. So really your best bet is to just use physical attacks all around. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, this is fine. I need to heal myself regardless. Oh, and trust me, these dark balls will have more health later on. Trust me, they will. You know, some people <laughs> in the, you know, in terms of Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, 
would like to go through the game with, uh, you know, level one proud mode. Yeah, no, I, I you, you know, I, mm -hmm. <laughs> you won't see me doing that anytime soon. I can reassure, I can reassure you on that one. Oh, look, Wyverns. I've always pronounced them as Wyverns, but uh, I got told otherwise they were pronounced as Wyverns. I've I've always I have always gotten the shit end of the stick when it comes to pronunciation of these enemies. It's like, oh, it's not pronounced Gollum, it's Golem. Oh, it's not pronounced Wyvern, it's Wyvern. It's like, f f for fuck's sake, it's a video game. Can I just have some fun here? <laughs> yeah, no, I know. All right, I, f I guess I was working on CP, so I guess we'll cap up on the CP and then we'll focus on health next. But, um, we have, besides Hollow Bastion, we have three more worlds after this. So we're getting very close to the end of the game here. So Hollow Bastion is, you know, is not the final world. <laughs> you know, K Kingdom Hearts, I, I guess technically in Kingdom Hearts 1 it wasn't... The final world either I guess that belongs to end of the world but that wasn't much of a world to begin with so I've always considered hollow bastion the final world of the first game but that's just me I should heal myself Here we go. Again, not much to it. You're just beating the living daylights out of Heartless here. Nothing, <laughs> nothing out of the ordinary here. This was the game that introduced it. Yes, this was the game that introduced us to Kingdom Hearts. Yes. So, of course, this uh, game holds a special place in my heart. Now, we're going to go on ahead and jump the gun to open up a Moogle room here because I know we're going to be uh, <laughs> I know we're going to be frequenting the uh, Moogle shop here. I'll speak to you later, buddy. Because I don't even think I have that m much, uh, Moogle point. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. All right, let's see. As much as I don't want. Nah, I don't really have one card. I want to keep a hold of that zero card just in case. Just in case. But yes, this was the this was the Kingdom Hearts game that introduced us to the franchise. Oh come on! Oh come on! I just want to get behind you and smack you with my Keyblade. Yeah, see, these guys are the most annoying on this game. Because they quickly turn around, which means you have to try to maneuver behind their back and blah, 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 and try to attack them. Oh, but oh no, we can't have that because, oh boy, we like to turn around and block your attacks. And then we like to use our gigantic dog head and our shield to bite the living shit out of you. And it's just fucking fun. It's fun all around. Fucking love it. 
I know I would always premium my cards even though that meant one use per battle. I like to call it hard mode. <laughs> yeah, because this game did not really have a difficulty mode, at least on this version. It only had Sora mode and Riku mode. Oh, stop it. Yep, nope, I had a feeling I was gonna deal with these guys. And you know what? Cuz fuck these guys. And that's Omni Slash. <laughs> I think he slashes at the enemy three times so long as they're alive. So again, if I want to have a chance against the uh, upcoming Riku battles or rematches or whatever, I'm going to have to stock up on them cloud cards. Yeah, so after this game again, I will be going through the Sonic Advance trilogy. I will be going through all of the Sonic Advance games 1, 2, and 3. And then after that will be Metroid Zero Mission for the Game Boy Advance as well. So uh, Game Boy Advance has been getting a lot of love for me lately. Oh, will you stop turning around? Okay, you know what? Yeah, because I'm not dealing with that. You think I am, but I'm not. Oh, <laughs> that's not even the best slight in the game. Trust me, we won't get that until the last world of the game. Look at that, we got some more wyverns. Um, so <clears throat> to those that are familiar with the Kingdom Hearts franchise, what happens to be your favorite final world of any Kingdom Hearts game? I think personally, I still love me some the world that never was, which was first introduced in Kingdom Hearts 2. But um, I think it got a lot better in a Dream Drop Distance. Yeah, Final World. Go down here and uh, where's my Heartless? There it is. You know what? Yeah, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> you think I am. But trust me when I say I'm not. The world never was is definitely one. That yeah, no, for real. Hollow Bastion was good, but... Yeah. <laughs> So no need for us to go inside that door ever unless I want unless I want to level up in which case sure why the hell not uh, I think days blah, blah, blah. I mean I do have this I might as well use it And then I really, really love the key played graveyard in the third game. Uh, still a little upset with the <laughs> outcome of that game and you know what's gonna happen next. Well, we'll never fucking know, huh? 
seems to me just something is missing in that game. And uh, the supposed DLC didn't help much either. <laughs> yeah, they did, but um, I heard they didn't really do much with it. I think it's only just like, oh, you can play as this character. Oh, you can play as that character. It's, it was that sort of DLC, I think. I mean, I could pick it up and play it, but here's the thing. They expect you to pay full price for the fucking thing. $50 for a DLC? Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, <laughs> especially since it's like what, uh, um, like a rhythm game of some sorts. I don't know. <laughs> a Kingdom Hearts rhythm game. <laughs> okay, sure. I'll bite. What do you have to offer? Now it would be really cool to introduce the people that have not, <laughs> you know, because you, they, they've released all of the games on ps4 and xbox one it would make sense to release the entire franchise onto the nintendo switch as well i mean come on <laughs> you want to make more money square you better fucking square up <laughs> I wouldn't mind paying full price for a Kingdom Hearts franchise for Switch. Been playing that system so much lately, it's fucking ridiculous. My PS4 and Xbox One cries. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that would be pretty cool. As, you know, as well as, um... 358 over two days not coded no one needs to know what code what happened in coded <laughs> my hate for that game knows no bounds <laughs> here, 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 here. well yeah they they released uh, crash insane trilogy uh, they released uh, spiral reignited trilogy I mean, what else have they released on there? I should probably heal myself. And then uh, we'll use Cloud. Side qu yeah, it was yeah, that's exactly what it was side quest the game And then the only interesting thing that came out of it was a battle between Sora and Roxas in, in which case we, we we got that in Kingdom Hearts uh, To final mix so I mean why? <laughs> I don't know, I guess some people wanted some the remake of mobile action. Uh, I guess it was just bound to happen, I suppose. I would really kill for a remaster of 358 over 2 though, not gonna lie. I think that game held up well enough. My honest opinion. I need eighters. Oh, gee. Here. 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 
yeah, 358 over two days, I believe still holds up pretty good. I mean, sure, the amount of missions was out there, but you know, what the boss battles had to, you know, show or whatever, it, it was pretty good, especially toward the end game. The end game was really good. Who will I have ice cream with indeed? <laughs> Uh, but here's a game some people will probably uh, wonder when I'm gonna get into it and that's birth by sleep to be honest ladies and gentlemen birth by sleep was one of those games it's 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 a difficult game uh, to be you know to be honest it's you know the, to, to get specific gears I mean gears and skills and stuff is weird in itself that it just requires you to do so many things to become better on the game and uh it, it, it was just one of those games where i just i honestly just download 100 percent save file just so i can experience the ending but i mean who knows now that i'm streaming i might just have to do some research and start playing the game uh on my off time again um <laughs> who knows Earth by Sleep on its own is interesting concept. Oh, what happened before Sora Riku and Kyrie? You know, what was the story behind, you know, the Keyblade wielders from the ending of the second game when you got 100%? <laughs> so there's a, there's a reason why I, I don't aim for 100% on any of the Kingdom Hearts game. Uh, ladies and gentlemen is because really they just unlock some uh, you know amazing CGI footage of a game that was bound to be released at some point like in Kingdom Hearts 1 I believe it was going to be a concept for 358 over two days it was never mentioned chain of memories in fact, I don't even think Chain of Memories had a special ending. Kingdom Hearts 2 had one that was, you know, aiming towards Birth by Sleep. And then Birth by Sleep was aiming towards uh, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. You know, I, it had a weird ass title before it finally released on the 3DS. You know, there, there's just there's just no specific reason for me to aim for 100% on any of the Kingdom Hearts games. So. No, I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Guess I'll heal. Though by far my favorite game of uh, the franchise definitely. Oh, I'm not getting any more map cards. That's not good um, My favorite game to play in the entire franchise is uh, dream drop distance for sure. I Think dream drop distance is amazing I mean, most of the boss battles were bullshit on that game, but man, I had a lot of fun with it. That didn't stop me from playing it. 
Andre rating with a party of four. Thank you for the raid, buddy. How did your stream go? And thanks to all those that have tuned on in. I'm the Blue Hedgehog 2010. Uh, let's uh, let's play on YouTube for about seven years before I uh, pushed my future playthroughs onto here. Been doing it for over a year and uh, completed 71 games in the process. Uh, but not only do I uh, not only do I stream video games on here, you know. I mean, currently for uh, Retro Gaming Thursdays, we're going through Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories on the Game Boy Advance, uh, as you can see here on the screen. Uh, but not only do I play video games on here, I uh, <laughs> oftentimes do Japan Crate taste tests, as well as build Legos on stream. And um, hell, upon, uh, you know, occasionally, if it's through request or if you uh, use enough points, I dress up as Sailor Mercury. Go figure. <laughs> but if any of that seems to pique your interest, feel free to give me a follow and uh, hit that bell notification icon so that you can be notified on the next time I go live. If we can give a shout out for Andre, that would uh, be greatly appreciated. And to all those that have not checked out Andre yet, please check out Andre. <laughs> He's an amazing fellow, a fantastic um, supporter. Uh, definitely check him out if you have not yet. I guess I'll give Andre a shout out myself. Alright, let's see. Of course. Let's see. So, that's, uh... That's that. I guess I can go this way and see where to go. But uh, right now we're going through Hollow Bastion. Um, of course I don't. Uh, I guess I can go through some more stagnant space. I don't know. <laughs> mm. So we have this world, and then um, the next world that's coming up. Um, I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to the next world. Uh, um, it's gonna be an interesting one. Yeah, teaming darkness is good, especially if you're leveling up. I need to uh, start uh, dink, uh, dunking my hand into this jelly bean. A container just so I can eat some jelly beans ever so slowly I should probably go on ahead and uh, delete some map cards let's see I have well, I definitely don't want any of these so I hardly use these. Um, some blue cards. False bounty. Alright. Okay. Should be good. So I'll be sure to check out your channel. Yeah, definitely, definitely check out Andre. Oh. Um, uh, 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 guys, let me go ahead and smoke some weed real quick, and then uh, let me send out my good boy Cloud Strife. He's pretty. He's pretty magnificent with his giant sword.
So you all know what really disappointed me is that after after Kingdom Hearts 2, they literally dropped <laughs> they literally dropped the connection between uh, the Final Fantasy world and Kingdom Hearts world. Like there was no other mention of Final Fantasy ever again. <laughs> Especially in 3. You would think they would have mentioned a Final Fantasy character in 3. Uh, but, oh uh, well. Beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Yeah, for, for sure. am hoping that they do re-release the entire franchise on Nintendo Switch. It would it would make sense, right? It makes sense that they would do that. I'd buy that for a dollar. I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on. Ever since they announced Borderlands Legendary Collection on Switch, you knew I had to pick that game up for sure. Hello, Alex, how are you doing? Okay, I do believe, ooh, we got some Moogle points. I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Not really liking where this is going, but... Oh, hey, look, another cloud card. Neat. Well, I mean, if anything, I should go on ahead and probably use a save card right here, just in case. Just in case. Oh, I need an exact zero card, huh? Well, luckily for you, I have that. Mm. Good call. Very good call. All right. Go ahead and save. Okay, so we need a blue card. Uh, three or below. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, three or below, so that'll work. And then key of beginnings. All right, I'm going to stick my hand in here and see what I can get myself into. Not bad. Hmm. That is a really good flavor. Um, but who are you? Did Maleficent kidnap you too? Um, not exactly. It's a long story. Hey, wait a sec. So you've been kidnapped? You don't want to be here? No, I don't. That witch Maleficent forced me to come here. 
I have no one to talk to. Books are all I have to ease my loneliness. And then there's him. Oh, I've missed him so much. You mean the beast? And why were you so mean to him before? Yeah, you really hurt his feelings. You don't understand. I can't let him see how I really feel. Why not? It's just that... Oh no, she's coming. Hide quickly. There's no time to explain. Hide yourselves now. Oh, good day, Maleficent. What brings you here? He was here, yes. He risked his life to come and save you. Why do you reject him? I won't ask for his help. Oh, and why is that? You know very well why. I'm not going to fall into your trap. Then I have no choice but to make you beg for his help. No, she got away. What should we do? Help her, of course. What else? Alrighty, let's eat another bean. This is bean number two. Ooh. Orange. Oh, goody. I was going to get to the point to where I'm going to grow numb to these beans flavors. Rotten egg is going to be nothing to me. <laughs> Vomit's gonna be nothing to me. Oh. So, of course, it opens up another room. Let me go ahead and get you two together. So, I mean, we have the key to Guardian, I think, that's already unlocked, so all we gotta do is just walk over there. We'll be good to go, right? And yes, oh yes. We're slowly stepping into, <laughs> we're st definitely stepping into a point to where uh, these bows are gonna drag on for a very, very, <laughs> for a little while, for a little while. Not for a very long time, but for a little while. I do believe my moderator has fallen asleep though. <clears throat> That's okay. That's why I have moderate I have other moderators for in chat, right? <laughs> oh hey look, some more wyverns. Oh boy. I should probably heal myself. I should probably heal myself. So, currently I'm going through uh, Crash Insane Trilogy on the Switch. Slowly trying to 100% it. I just 100 percent the first Crash game. That was fun. S starting to slowly 100% Crash 2. Having an easier time on Crash 2 than I am with Crash 1 by far. So, um... <laughs> 
have a little guarantee that I will eventually get around to playing Crash Insane Trilogy on stream. Ouch. Should probably heal myself. There we go. Of course, we got some more dark balls. And there we go. Look at that. And let's go on ahead and level up our HP. All right. So where do I need to go? That way? Two rooms down. Pretty sure I have plenty of Moogle points now. Oh yeah, I should have more than enough. Go inside that Moogle shop and pick up a few decks. Hope for the best. card all right so where do I have that Moogle room anyway I think I have now oh, that's feeble darkness all right the Moogle rooms down there uh, let's no let's 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 go down there Thunder. All right. We'll go. What you got for me, buddy? Some promising stuff. Some promising stuff. All right. I want to aim for some more cloud cards. Can I get that? Bambi, Tinkerbell, Cloud. It's a zero cloud card, but it's a cloud card. It's a it's a cloud card. Okay, so I need to go one more room up and then well, I definitely want to make sure I hit these things so I can I don't really need HP orbs guys Moogle points. Yeah, definitely could use some more Moogle points Okay, fine. You don't have to give me any Moogle points at least for now. I expect them later. Alright. And here's my... Here's my key to guardian, or key of guidance, I should say. CB number three. Booger. Booger. Uh, what are you waiting for? Call for him. No, I won't let you hurt him. 
Then I shall make you scream. The fool will come running the moment he hears your cries. Enough. The beast isn't the only one you have to deal with. Be gone, boy. You have no business here. Unless, of course, you wish to join in the screaming. Yes, when that brute heals your shrieks of terror, he'll come right to me. Don't trouble yourself, Maleficent. I'm here. You came. No, you mustn't. I told you to leave this place. Leave me alone. I never want to see your face again. Bell. One awful thing to say. All right, that's how you feel, I understand. My hideous form is punishment for being selfish and unable to love. Transform into a monster loved by no one. I only became more selfish. Then I met you, Belle. You're the only person who accepted me. Little by little, you warmed my cold, selfish heart. Memories of our days together are my most precious. I won't cast them aside. So I'm sorry, but I can't leave you here, even if you hate me for it. Consider it my final selfish act. But why? Well, well, I never dreamed such ugliness could hide so beautiful a heart. This calls for a change of plan. Beast, I shall claim your heart instead of Bell's. No, please. Uh, uh. Well, so much for the change of plan. Belle's heart it is. It seems her cold words spoke little of her true feelings. <laughs> she loves you, beast. I can feel it shining in her heart. You fiend, release Belle's heart at once. Where is she? She went that way. That's the way the shadows fled. What are you doing here? No time to talk. We gotta go after them right away. You'd help me? You bet. After what you just said, we gotta help you. Let's go get Belle's heart back. Right. All right. So now we have the beast that joined our party. All right. So I'm assuming... The key of truth is right here, which can either be accessed by this room or this room. I'm hoping for the latter here. Don't mind me, just Moogle point hunting. <laughs> just Moogle point hunting. I want that. Give me that. Grab more of this. We will keep going up. Nothing. That's fine. More Moogle points, I'll take those. All right, well, so here's the hoping. This is key to rewards. Huh. I mean, I might as well. Really hoping I have a seven card here. All 
All right, well, it looks like I am gonna go swing back around. Me as well. We got Mushu. Aw, yeah. Too bad I'm hardly ever gonna use him, but hey, we got Mushu. That's cool, right? I guess. Alright. So I guess I'm gonna have to go through these two rooms to get to this room. Which is unfortunate, but hey, you know, that's a. You know, that's, a yeah, man. <laughs> that's what happens. That's what happens. Get a lot of Moogle points, though. I and I am not complaining about that at all. The more Moogle points I get, the better, you know? Better off I'll be. Jesus. Moogle points galore and oh my god I Hit the fucking jackpot is what I did You like this version better than the console version? Um, I have a bit of a soft spot with this version, if only because, you know, this is the first GBA game I've played, and this is the first game to introduce me to the franchise. So I have a soft spot for this game, uh, for this version anyway. Um, though if I have to choose between here and the console, I guess the console would be good, if only because. If only because, wow, I do not have a nine card, are you kidding me? Okay, I can break it with a zero card. If only because <laughs> I can, you know, I can break boss fights in half <laughs> with a certain slight. And uh, that alone is fun. <laughs> that alone is definitely fun. It is! You know, I still think that the Game Boy Advance version of this game holds up today. I strongly believe so, anyway. And believe it or not, <laughs> you know, despite the chipset that uh, the Game Boy is equipped with, uh, they do get away with having the song Simple and Clean being played during the credit sequence of this game. Believe it or not. And we will be hearing it in this playthrough. Trust me, we will. Uh, Dearly Beloved is on this version, but it's... It's not that great. <laughs> it's it's uh, it's honestly not that great. But yes, Dearly Beloved is on this is is on this game. Should probably heal myself. In fact, I will. And then Cloud go to town. Yeah, it is a little on the compressed side. 
A Jurassic the Game soundtrack on this game? A-okay. <laughs> Just keep coming at me. I'm just gonna keep smack you with my keyblade. And remember, guys, at any point in time, if you wanna uh, drop a vote on what character you want to see me use in Sonic Advance One, at any time. Type in the chat, exclamation mark SP, it'll bring up a straw poll on uh, what character you would like to see me play as next. Uh, uh, for, you know, for Sonic Advance, anyway. First speedrun coming tomorrow, huh? do just fine Andre hopefully you have some company with you at least in the voice chat uh, sort of things because I know when it comes to doing a certain uh, challenge or whatever I'd like to have some company to uh, <laughs> I like to have some company via voice to just uh, break the silence And there we go. Some more experience points for me. For me. All right, I guess I could show off what beasts can do. That's literally all he does. <laughs> he just runs across the screen, does a heavy amount of damage, but that's it. Well, let's see how many goo mo Ooh, shit. Yeah, no, we should probably revisit the Moogle shop. Ooh, we got Divine Rose. Look at that. All right, so let's head down. Again, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Uh, but like I mentioned before, um... If you're concerned on how well you'll do, if you need some more concentration, you know, don't hesitate to bring someone else into your stream, into the voice chat to break the silence. So at least that way the stream isn't like 100% silent. Because that's what I did for my first attempt of the speed run for Shovel Knight, is I had Technonics along with me. And uh, he he'll be there again. <laughs> You know, I, I'm sure, I'm sure that by the time I reach, um, by the time November uh, rolls around, I will reach the threshold of $1,000 raised for the Children's Hospital in Aurora, Colorado. <laughs> Alright, so Mugo... Google room is right there. Something tells me I wanna... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. So here's the thing you can do. You could resynthesize rooms. This is a great way to stock up on cards. And a great way to grind. <laughs> All right, not bad. I do want to try to aim for another cloud card. 
Nope. Not quite. Okay, another cloud card. I'll, I'll take that. Another cloud card. All right. I think I'm pretty much set for the Riku boss fight anyway. <laughs> Or at least a Riku rematch, I should say. Alright, so I just need to go this way. Go up. And here we are. So I need a red card. I need a zero or equal. Well, bye, Teeming Darkness. <laughs> All right. Let's see, this is bean number four, or is it bean number five? I lost count. Hmm. You've done well to make it this far, Beast. As your reward, I'll tell you why Bell rejected you. Mm, strawberry donut. My dark magic requires hearts of utmost beauty. Bell was perfect, deep in her heart. Her love for you shone with uncommon radiance. But she guessed my plans. By denying her love for you, she put her heart beyond my reach. But she saved me, she protected me. She couldn't hide how she really felt. I've heard enough. Release your heart, Maleficent, if you don't. <laughs> Witch, do not try my patience. Don't you realize why I'm telling you all this? Did you think it was out of kindness? I did to erase your doubts. Now your heart is beginning to shine with love for Belle. The perfect fuel for my dark magic. I shall have your heart too, monster. Not if we stop you. You dare challenge me? Pitiful fools. All right, well, here's Maleficent. And uh, she's not, I mean, she, she's pretty pathetic in this. She, she's pretty pathetic in this, uh, in this game. So really, you know, if she spreads fire around, do your best to attack it, and, um, yeah, if you use it, uh, <laughs> a stone pile will, um, show up, and, uh, it's just an easier way to get to Maleficent's head. See, look at that. We are <laughs> we are almost done with her. We are almost done with her. How crazy is that? So really, um, <laughs> really, um, no strict advice on what to do against Maleficent here. Just smack her with your Keyblade. <laughs> That's, and if she spits out fire, obviously you destroy the fire to bring up Mickey's head so that way you can use it and uh, you can reach up to Maleficent's head. Not that it was hard to reach up there to begin with.
Bean number six, I think. Now, thank goodness. Please forgive me. I had to be cruel to you. I guess I couldn't hide my true feelings. I'm the one who should apologize. For just a moment, I doubted your love. I never want to remember those feelings of despair. Then don't. Let's replace the sad memories of happier ones, starting now. Bell. There they go with the mushy stuff. Yeah, we better give them some privacy. Good idea. Let's keep moving. Yay. Oh, need to <laughs> resituate myself here. But yeah, that was Hollow Bastion. And um, I have a feeling we're going to be going against Riku here. So we might want to prepare ourselves for this. We might want to prepare ourselves for this. Um, let's see, I'm probably going to make a separate deck for this. Because here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to concoct here. Um... Right. And the ether. Elixir. I wish I had stronger elixir cards, but um I know, man. I don't really have a whole lot of, uh... Whoops. I definitely wanted to add more cards to this. Probably don't, didn't want that. All right. Okay, so I definitely need to resituate some things here. Um, Take a minute. So please forgive me. Whoops. I guess it really doesn't matter on how I order these up, huh? As long as I have some zero cards so I can break some of the uh, slides, that's fine. I really don't care. Okay. Okay, so I mean, if anything, I have a good amount of cards that I can use. 
Okay, so we're definitely going to equip this. All right, folks, wish me luck. I have a feeling I'm going to need it. Who are you? That's no way to greet a stranger, Sora. I am Vexen. I've come to collect your debt. You owe him something? Of course not. Oh, but you do. You owe me for reuniting you with your former friend. You don't mean. Yes, I am the one who brought Riku to you. So you're the one. You're the one who's been controlling him. What have you done with him? I see no need to tell you. Why trouble you in your final moments? Oh boy. Okay, so I completely forgot about Vexen boy here. Um, Vexen's really not that hard of a, a boss. So we're, we're just gonna use a build that I have built up anyway. At least I hope I can. Oh Jesus, are you kidding me? Oh, uh, that's fine. Vex is really not that hard. You just gotta watch out for two of his main attacks, which is freeze, which will freeze you in place if you're not careful. Oh, come on! And just like that, there goes my ether card. Bedtime time for me since it's 3 a.m. Good night, Blue. Good luck for your stream. Thanks for being you. Have yourself a fantastic night, Andre. Greatly appreciate the raid, buddy. And you definitely don't want to attack him in the front since he has a shield. No shit. <laughs> okay, well, luckily for me, I do have one more Omni Slash at my disposal here. Again, Vexen's really not that hard. I just came in premature because I thought it was going to be a Riku battle. But that's just not the case. Use fun. Okay, good. <laughs> there we go. Wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad. Ooh, but hey, we got max ether, I think. Mega ether. There you go. Splendid. As expected, you didn't die. You don't die so easily. As if I'd ever lose you. You'll yet have your chance. As we fought, I delved deep into your memory. And look what I found. This is a card crafted for memories locked in the other side of your heart. If you want to fight me for real, then step into the world within this card. Come back. Other side, what's he talking about? Hmm, I wonder. We got a bad feeling about all this. We should be careful. Another side of your heart, is that where the stuff you forget goes? Is it just me, or has Vexen finally lost it? Now he's done something really rash. What now, Axel? The show's over if Sora finds out about the other side. 
If he just passes through without catching on, we can patch things up later. But if not, let Naminé handle this. In the meantime, Axel, you know what to do. No, I don't. Maybe you could spell it out for me. Rid us of our traitor. Done. There's no taking that order back later. A card made of memories from the other side of your heart. I wonder what it does. Only one way to find out. Besides, it's the only card we have left. Okay, so I guess I should probably go on ahead and equip my other deck here, huh? <laughs> hey, there we go. All right. Twilight Town, huh? Bean number six or seven. Bean number six or seven. Gosh, where are we, Sora? Hmm. Oh, no, I've never been here. Me neither. But that can't be right. Up until now, we've only been in place to places in Sora's memory. Maybe so, but I definitely don't remember this. Maybe you forgot this town just like the other stuff. This is terrible. Our memories are practically gone. We'll be okay. See, look at this. Not many good luck charm. There's a special memory that goes with this. One night when Naminé and I were little, there was this meteor shower. Naminé started crying. She said, what if a shooting star hits the islands? So I said, if a shooting star comes this way, I'll hit it right back into outer space. I was swinging his toy sword around the whole time. Naminé just smiled, smiled and said thanks, and then she gave me this. Sora, I'm so sorry. All this because of me. Naminé said she had it ever since she was a baby. And she gave it to you? Wow. Yeah, so I promised her. From now on, I'll bring you good luck. I'll keep you safe. I really let her down. All right, guys, welcome to a world <laughs> that was introduced in this game first, Twilight Town. And uh, according to Axel and the rest of the gang, this was a world that was never meant to be shown to Sora. <laughs> I wonder why. Hmm. <laughs> But it uh, has a kick-ass battle theme. I really love Twilight Town's battle theme. It is so good. And uh, who knows how long it will... Oh, I should probably take a look at the map to see what we're dealing with here. Uh... <laughs> there we go. All right, let's see what we're dealing with here. Oh! not that bad as I expected huh well okay then <laughs> 
could just make a break for the key beginnings right now and just go for it. I love this town's bow theme so much. Of course, we gotta deal with the Heartless that has, like, the humongous amount of hit points. You know, I should really... Hmm. I really don't need the Cloud Cards here. I really don't. I mean, they make short work of the Heartless, for, to be sure. But, uh... I don't think I need them here. <laughs> should probably heal myself I'll probably heal myself in the next battle honestly here oh hey look I leveled up let's focus more on our HP <laughs> So, um, hmm. chat, what do you think of Twilight Town as a whole? I mean, it doesn't get really fleshed out until like Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> but, you know, as an introductory for this, uh, as an introduction uh, for, for this game, I don't think it's bad. I find it confusing to be sure, but it's not bad. I should probably start using my cloud cards on these guys. In fact, now would be a good time. Okay, just gotta smack you a couple of times and we're good. It's at this point in the game, ladies and gentlemen, is that some would be so tired of these heartless battle. <laughs> I mean, it, it's it's starting to drag at this point for me. Now you, you could skip out on these battles, sure, but uh, you might have a harder time with the other, you know the next few boss battles that we happen to encounter so uh <laughs> probably in your best interest to um level up keep grinding oh boy go let's 
so um, I don't know. I mean, not that much Moogle points. Should probably make a save room right here. I hope that's not the last save room card. I'm really hoping it's not. Knowing my luck, it probably is. Um, no, we want to head up. Oh boy, I'm starting to sweat in this thing. Um. Stag in space, sure. <laughs> Spellbinder, I guess that's not too horrible. Okay, definitely want to try and pick up the experience here. Oh boy, look at the slowdown. Heartless in this battle. There we go. But yeah, no, I, I remember, you know, growing up playing this game. When I finally got to this point, I got so worn out from the uh, Heartless battles. Like, it just became. It just became repetitive and that's what I think I really liked about the open world that was the other Kingdom Hearts game up to this point because you had an option like yeah you enter a room heartless pops up you fight him bada bing bada boom but um you have an option to progress through the story without having to deal with so much heartless what the hell No, I didn't just hear that. And of course, we got more. Whoops. I guess I could heal myself. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Huh. 
Thankfully, this world is small that, uh, it probably won't take much to complete this world. But unfortunately, that just falls into the matter of fate of the map cards you have. how hot it is underneath this wig. Smack. There we go. Mingling worlds. Well, I know we can't go that way because that's key to rewards. Uh, so we need eight equal for blue. I don't even think I have that, do I? Oh, I do. One that's equal for red. And 20. Oh, my lord. Here we go. This better be worth it. Learned warp. Cool. What's it do? I'm almost close to a level up. Almost close to a level up. Oh, Jesus. I didn't even mean to do that, but... I guess that's fine. That works. Ooh, and I leveled up. Perfect. Another Bambi card, okay. Some Moogle points. I'm always down for some Moogle points. Actually. I don't really have that much. So it's probably not worth opening up a Moogle shop at this point. I guess I used the Feeble Darkness card. I thought I used the Sleeping Darkness card, but I guess that's not the case. This is fine. Here, 
horse, one heartless wants to focus on me at a time, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> I guess that's also fine. Goody, some more heartless battles. We haven't grown tired of these guys yet, have we? <laughs> oh boy. I guess I could get into the technical standards of... Okay, so like... You notice that the pack of cards that we pick up, they have like a grading system, right? Like some of them had A, some of them had C, some of them had B, whatever. The higher the grade stat is, the stronger the key plate is, right? And depending on how you build your deck in terms of attack cards, um, you can really dish out a lot of damage to Heartless. Hell, bosses even too. So like you can string a slew of attacks with like a B grade card, C grade card, an A grade card, you know, whatever, you know? And uh, you would dish out more damage that way. But of course this, <laughs> you know, of course this means they had to do a lot of research to build a perfect deck to be doing this. Meanwhile, I don't have that mindset. My mindset is, bitch, I got places to be. <laughs> or bitch in my case bitch I got things to do <laughs> I really hate I really hate that the fire cast and the blizzard cast and stuff is on ground and not in air I don't know if it was like that in the first Kingdom Hearts game, but I know for sure that it wasn't like that in Kingdom Hearts 2. It's really hard to explain the mechanics of this game when really who in their right mind thought like maybe the people of the older generation that have a mindset of doing that is like oh I want to be powerful but you know if this game was aiming towards the child demographic um, there's no way in hell children are gonna <laughs> be bothered by this they just they just want to move on with the game they want to see their favorite disney character final fantasy character you know whatever right off okay i think that's the last heartless and now okay so five or lower boom or five or higher i should say um boom five or lower boom blue card boom and there we go
What's the matter? I feel kind of funny. I'm sure I don't know this place, but it's starting to feel real familiar. Then you must have been here before. All right, bean time. That's just it, I never have. Maybe it's like a phenomenon. You forgot other stuff, so now you remember this place. No, it's different. With nominated the memories of us together sort of came drifting back piece by piece. But here, there are no memories. Everything feels familiar, that's all. Does it now? A question then, Sora. Which is more real to you? Your memories of Naminé or the, famili the familiarity you feel here? Naminé, of course. Where I feel here is just some trick of yours. <laughs> the memory's wiles are cruel. In its silence we forget. In its perversion, it binds our hearts firmly. I don't have time for your riddles. You recall that this place was made from another side of your memory. Yes, the other side of your heart knows this place. The other side remembers. You're wrong. I don't know this place. If you remain bound by a chain of memory and refuse to believe your heart, then you may as well throw your heart away. You're no Keyblade Master, no master of anything, just a slave to twisted memories. Just like my Riku, you're not fit to exist. Your Riku? You're so full of it. You're the one who changed Riku, aren't you? Every word you've said is a lie. I've never thrown away my heart. I'm going to take you down, save Riku, and nominate. That's what's in my heart. All right, guys, Vexen, round two. Still got to watch out for his freeze. And keep attacking him in the back because uh, that shield of his can still guard. And obviously you don't want to use Blizzard on this guy because it heals him. No shit, Sherlock, while you explain this. <laughs> And watch out for ice needles for sure. Of course, Vexen has auto life. Oh, come on. Uh, okay, nope. Why do that? Jesus Christ. Give it up, old man. Oh, looky. Some slippery, slippery slopes here. Ice needles. Definitely want to try to avoid those. But since Vexen has auto life, um, I think once you try to finish him off, he'll... Have a little bit of uh, life left that it's not going to matter much. At this point, he, he, he might as well not even have tried to have all life on him, you know? He didn't use it last time. What makes you think? It might be useful for him this time, just because he might have a bit of a chance to uh, to uh, fight Sora or whatever. Ice burn. So really, patches of ice on the ground. If you walk over it, you slip, and uh, that leaves you open for attack. So. Uh, you don't want that to happen. Uh, am 
might as well go on ahead and use this. So that way I can heal myself. But really, Vexen's battle here is... Vexen's battle here is not bad. If you know what you're doing, if you have a good deck like I do, should have little to no issues whatsoever. Just don't use, okay. I was gonna say, just don't use Blizzard. So you don't want to heal this guy. Come on. I've always thought Vexen was a uh, woman as well, just because of how he sounded with the sound chips. Like, <laughs> like he had like a witch's cackle or something. So I've always assumed. I've always assumed that it was, you know, Vexen was a female, but not the case here, not the case. But Vexen's almost done here. should probably heal myself. Yep. I should do it. Blizzard boost, huh? Oh, come on. Alright. Well, that's not what I meant to do, but okay. And that's it for Vexen. And hey, we leveled up. Fantastic. And we got Vexen, which means we got auto life. Urg, such strength, even at the mercy of your memory. You are dangerous. You must be exterminated. Fine, whatever. Just put Riku back the way he was. Put him back, fool of a boy. Even now you understand nothing. The Riku you speak of has but one fate, to sink into the emptiness of darkness. And you will share that fate, Sora. If you continue to seek the girl nominee, the shackles will tighten. You'll lose your heart and become Marluxia's pawn. Marluxia? Who's that? And what do they have to do with Nama? Gah! Axel. Hey, Sora, sorry to cut in right when he was getting to the juicy bits. <sighs> Axel, why? You sure love to talk. It's about time you shut up forever. No, don't do it. We're nobody's Vexen. We've got no one to be, but we still are. So look on the bright side. You're off the hook. Now you can be nothing instead of just being nobody. Mercy, Axel. I don't want to go yet. Now you can tell me I don't respect my elders. And just like that, Vexen is dead. What the? What are you people? Wish I knew the answer to that myself. Ha! 
Wow. <laughs> Things happened. And um, I guess we can go on ahead and see. Um, he's not technically dead. He's got a clone running around. Oh, I know. I know, kids. It's called suspense. Have you not heard of it? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Review decks. Let's, let's equip this one. Because now I have a feeling we're going to be bumping into battles here. Nice work, Axel. Good riddance to that blabbermouth. Marluxia, you use Vexen to test Sora's strength, right? Not just Sora's, yours too, Axel. We weren't sure if you had any to take out a fellow member of the organization. Well, I guess you did. You can join the big leagues now. But the three of us taking over the organization will be child's play. I see, and that's where Sora comes in, right? Right, he wants to see Nomine, so we give him what he wants. Rejoice, Namine. The hero you've longed for is nearly here. I'm... I'm very happy. Are you now? Well, in your fits of happiness, try not to do anything to hurt Sora's feelings. Am I clear? Yes. All you need to do is layer the memories one by one and bring his heart closer. Sora. Even if you come for me, what then? Oh, hi, Riku. Enough, Sora. You'll just hurt Namine if you go any further. What? You still want to fight? Vexen's gone. You're free. Free? I'm protecting Namine from you because it's what my heart tells me to do. I promised her. I promised Namine I'd keep her safe. You did? There was a meteor shower one night when she and I were little. Nominate got scared and said, what if a shooting star hits the islands? So I told her, if a shooting star comes this way, I'll protect you. And then you made a promise and you had a toy sword. Yeah, how do you know about that? But well, that was my promise. On the night of the meteor shower, I said I'd protect her. Liar, it was just me and her. Oh yeah, then how come she gave me to her a good luck charm? Her what? See? Does not compute. Does not compute. <laughs> but where did you get that? System shut down. Oh, I know what you're trying to pull. Huh? That's fake. I've got the real one right here. What, two of them? I'll teach you to make stuff up. All right, guys, welcome to Riku round three. And, uh, <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, where do I even begin with this guy? Um, well, we're definitely not at that point to where we're reaching the red health bars areas as of yet. But, uh, yeah, no. He does have some, uh,. Well, he has some interesting tricks up his sleeve this time around as well. And, uh, would I like to... Oh, no. What I like to use is Omni Slash, and hopefully he doesn't interrupt like he, he's doing right now. <laughs> because, as you can tell, Omni Slash does a fuck ton of damage. Ouch. Ouch. Ah, stop it. Stop it. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, this is fine. Thanks for the heal, buddy. Smack. Sm nope. You little bitch. You little shit. Fire. 
And just like that. <laughs> just like that. Uh, I guess I can focus on some more HP. Why not? Time to run away. <laughs> Riku. This is Nominate's good luck charm, isn't it? It's just like the one she gave me. How did he get this? Oh, hey, look, another world card. Nothing is making sense anymore, or you're good. Riku's good luck charm turned into a card? So you and Riku had the same memory? Um. Uh, somebody tell me what's going on here. Let's just keep going, okay? It doesn't matter anymore. Of course it matters. Don't you think it's weird that you and Riku have the same exact memory? You can't both be right. Oh, so I'm wrong, huh? Fine, don't believe me. That's not what Donald meant. We're just worried. Now let's hurry up and ask Nominate. I should clear it up, right? Look, we don't have time to sit around, so let's go. Sora, what's happening to you? What's that supposed to mean? You always get real touchy when it comes to Nominate. Did you ever ask yourself why? Before we came to this castle, you didn't even know her name. Now she's all you think about. Doesn't make sense. Maybe you should stop and think things through. Think things through? You mean abandon her, is that it? No, but... Whatever, do what you want. Lay back, take a nap, I don't care. I'm going to find Nominate. Sora. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, say goodbye to Donald and Goofy for this world. You're all he's got left. If you don't stop this, no one will. But it's too late now. Oh, I don't think you should give up just yet. By the way, Nomine, I don't see Marluxia around, do you? What are you trying to say? There's no one here to stop you. Do it right. <laughs> now this should be good. All the actors are in place. Now Sora, Namine, Riku, Marluxia, Larxene. It's about time you gave me one hell of a show. Sora, you shouldn't talk to Donald and Goofy like. Keep it to yourself. Oh boy, Sora is a little upset. But, um, what's this next world we're gonna be going into the next time we meet up next Thursday? Destiny Islands. We will start going through Destiny Islands next time. <laughs> but, um,. Go ahead and wrap things up here. But I do want to thank all those that have tuned on in. Hope you enjoyed the stream. And um, give one final shout out to Andre for giving us that wonderful raid. Definitely check him out if you have not yet. And if you guys have not joined a Discord, feel free to join a Discord. I do updates on there in terms of uh, streaming, <laughs> you know, scheduling. If I'm going to be streaming or not due to being sick or if I'm on holiday and uh, daily questions of the day where today's question was what happens to be your favorite official soundtrack from a video game and um, you know, just filled to the brim with friendly people on there. Y you'll be safe there. I can guarantee it. And um, do support streamers both big and small. So if you happen to be a streamer. Whether it be on here, YouTube, or Facebook Gaming, it don't matter. Support all platforms, so show us what you can do. We'll gladly show you the amount of support that you guys deserve. If you are a subscriber, you can copy this ready to message. If you're a non-subscriber, 
you're gonna copy this raid message if you guys stick around for the raid i would greatly appreciate that let's see no it doesn't look like let me refresh my page and then we will find someone to raid Why are my frames dropping now? Okay, I guess my frame stopped dropping for whatever reason. Let's go on ahead and push this. Let's see. Hmm. Let's go on ahead and yeah, let's just go on ahead and uh, we'll push this over to uh, Nightmare Phoenix. He's playing some Minecraft at the moment, so um, let's go on ahead and show him some love. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow with some more Dead Space. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Blue Hedgehog 2010, and as always. Happy gaming, my friends.